morning everyone, same view as yesterday. It's 20 to 8 on Monday morning. It feels nice and cool right now, so hopefully it will stay that way. Not cool as in cold, but not humid. Piece of paper in the middle of our lawn. Don't know what it is. Hi everyone, how are ya? I'm just in the middle of changing sheets and that's a bunch of laundry to fold. I've got my duvet in the machine, my comfort I mm, should say. Um, it's not been a good day so I haven't vlogged and it's not been a bad day like for me personally. Well, personally yeah. I think I've got you sitting on the pillow. <laughs> but um, just sarcastic calls today. No, you can be quiet miss. One lady like was uh, annoyed that they hadn't got the call from the school yet in regards to senior portraits. So I left her a message saying we gave them the list last week. They'll get to the call if they've, they may have already done the call, but did you guys pick the call up? It wasn't coming from us, it was coming from the school. And I said, you know, I really need your son to call me because I have to give him directions on where to go. Another lady called over the weekend. I called her back, left a message saying I'd rather have your son call so I can give him directions and everything. She calls me back and then halfway through, I'm just, she made the appointment. I said, what's well, easier for him? No, 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 I, I'm going to do it. Fine, okay. Start giving her all the directions. And she goes, oh, I really wish you'd left all this on the answer machine. Well, how can I leave it on the answer machine? I didn't know when he was coming. Different days, there's different ways to get into the school for different reasons. I said, that's why I want your son to call. And then she was aggravated that we provide the shirt and jacket and tie because she went out and bought one. Ask. If you've looked at a yearbook, you'll see. I'm sorry, but I am a bit aggravated. And then I take the dogs out for the 50th time and I come in and there's a text saying your Avon's been delivered by UPS. I go to the front door, guess what? No Avon. So I call up right away and the lady says, look everywhere, look under your porch. I said, under my porch? She goes, yeah, in the front. I said, I don't have a porch in the front. It's a doorstep. I said, I have. I said, the reason I'm calling you now is because it was supposedly delivered 12 minutes ago and I'm letting you know it's not here. So I went outside. My neighbor was outside. She still is. She goes, no, nothing came. And she's been out there for a while. So they're telling me to pretty much go knocking on doors. No, that's not my job. That's your driver's job. To d deliver it to the, fr the right place. So she took all this information. I was on the phone with her for about 15 minutes. And then the other guy just called me now, which was an hour and a half later. Of course, the guy's nowhere in the area now. This is why I called 12 minutes after it was delivered so they could radio him and he could come and see where he actually delivered it to. Just like Pete's computer two years ago, they delivered a computer that was supposed to be signed for next door with no signature, just left it on the doorstep. $4,000 computer at the time. I said that, you know, this is crazy. So when this guy called, I go, it's not my regular driver, is it? I said, because he knows where to put everything, like, right on the doorstep. But I said, never. That's not them. It's a research company. Um, so he goes, well, I'll try and get hold of him now. So I said, no, I'm not happy. And he goes, no, I know, I'm sorry, this happened, but I'm like, now I've got a right Avon, let them know I did not get my order. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, we're getting towards the holidays. And, uh, well, we're not really there yet, are we? We're only in September. Um, and this is when people start following trucks around and stealing things off doorsteps. But there's no way that could have happened because I was home. I would have heard the kerfuffle. So I'm not happy about that. And Pete's gone. He's is on his way to his second job of the day, poor thing. And yeah, it is hot, hot, hot. It's like 90 odd degrees in here again. Sucks. So I wanted to get this changed and done and then um, just chill out for the rest of the night because there's a lot of new shows on tonight. All the good TV programs start this week, all the, you know, the pilots. So that'll be good. Dancing with the Stars, The Voice. Uh, the finale of So You Think You Can Dance, well, I've still got six to watch on the telly. I haven't even watched them yet. They're on the DVR, so I've got to do that. But yeah, I'm sorry I haven't picked up this at all. 
but I'll talk to you in a little bit because I really want to fold this laundry and get it put away before anyone comes. Then I want to get changed into my other shorts and like I said hibernate in this room and hopefully it will cool off as soon as the sun goes down. It's still really 90 over there but it's another hot one. Ready for fall. I want a hot cup of coffee in a sweater and jeans and a scarf. I love wearing my scarves. <laughs> Some of them are on the bed there from last year. Look. <laughs> so, want scarves. I gotta fold this laundry because it's not gonna fold itself. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Well, uh, the package was found. My A1 boxes were delivered next door, like my other thing was delivered there a couple of years ago. Um, yeah. It's funny though because I had the customer service call again saying, oh no, he definitely delivered it to 74. Well, no, you didn't, mate. Uh, so yeah, I've got it. I haven't opened it yet, but um, I feel bad because the lady bought it over and carried it and it has a lot of Avon books in it as well. So it was very heavy. But um, yeah, she goes, I don't know. She goes, And then it's funny because a few people on the street have said how much they get their mail mail. Uh, the mailman keeps mixing up the mail and she keeps getting mail delivered to uh, two doors down and that. It's like, how hard is it? We've had we've had mail for this house number but two streets over delivered here before. So they just need to get their act together. And we've actually had packages for another street delivered here as well. And it's a good job you're honest enough to take it back. That's the thing is if you ha if your package gets into the wrong hands, Bob's your uncle, you've loosed, you've loosed it, you've loosed it, you've lost it. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight, it's 25 to 12, Pete got home at about 10 I think, and I must admit I just dozed off for 20 minutes, which is not good, because now I'm wide awake again, even though I'm going to yawn now. <sighs> long day, long day on the phones, and couple of things I was supposed to do for myself I haven't done yet. I think Ash and I might go out and do a couple of errands tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be as hot because it did get very hot this afternoon. Let's see. Let's see if it's supposed to be cooler tomorrow. 79 so it's supposed to be cooler than the 85 we had today. Alright guys, I hope you've all had a brilliant Monday. Sorry, this is a very lousy vlog. Lousier than normal. Um, big gap this afternoon, didn't vlog at all. But I hope you've all had a brilliant Monday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Good night.